I'm Scott Margolin, Vice President of Technical here at Tyndale. We regularly create non-commercial educational video content on specific subjects of interest to arc rated and flame resistant wearers, such as how it's tested, improper wear, spin cycle, and of course, arc week. We'd like to introduce a new series, NFPA 70E Made Easy. I'd also like to introduce a new host for the series, and I hope you'll agree with us that he's eminently qualified. Jason? Hey, Scott, thanks for that great intro. Just a couple disclaimers before we get started here. There's a lot of people who have poured their heart and soul into the 70E. My goal is not to explain every last detail in this forum because we simply don't have the time. I want to try to make this a little more understandable for people like me that have been in the field for a little while, as well as beginners. Also, this series is meant for informational purposes only. There will not be any certification that you get with this series. And really, it's on you as the listener to get into the 70E and learn it for yourself. There's a great example. If you take a piano lesson that's a crash course two or three week lesson, and a year later, somebody comes back and asks you to play the song that you learned on that crash course, and you haven't practiced, you're not going to be able to play it. You have to get into the 70E and stay in it in order to maintain a knowledge base. What we're going to do is we're going to try to break this down into two to four minute videos that make this a little bit more digestible. Some of you out there might be asking what my qualifications are. I've been a master electrician for 28 years and in the construction industry for over 35. I've worked in literally every aspect of the electrical industry and on projects ranging from zero to $2 billion. I'm a certified electrical safety compliance professional, which is an NFPA CESCP certification, and I've been teaching the 70E for several years now. Most importantly, I'm an arc flash survivor. In 2009, I was involved in an arc flash that nearly took my life. This was an improbable arc flash by everyone else's account because it was only 12208 equipment. Ever since then, my mission, vision, and passion has been to keep fellow workers safe from electrical hazards that nearly took my life. So that's what brings us here today. Tyndale also has a very strong mission, vision, and passion to keep workers safe. Doing this series is just one more way that all of us can help you stay safe when it comes to electrical hazards. Thank you.